Stay tuned for the next life stage, nesting and career, age 23 to 39. Cindy says, Cindy says, Cindy says, Cindy says, Work it out, though. Work it out. Nothing moves till you move. Work it out. Finance looking right. Work it out, though. Mind and your body right. Work it out, though. Work it out, though. Work it out. Nothing moves till you move. Work it out. Finance looking right. Work it out, though. Mind and your body right. Work it out, though. Hard work, smart work. Work it out, though. If it takes a little time, work it out slow. Only way to level up. Work it out more. Work it out more. Don't stop, no. I've been on my own and on my job. Work for it and I work hard. Over time and I'm gon' charge. If you were born from 1981 to 1996, you are considered a millennial. And you millennials, you do not be concerned about debt. Because you're not going to get in it, okay? You guys are serious about your money, your free time. You're not going to get in debt. This is for those people who don't know about the life events that happen between 23 and 39. By this time, you're into your career. You have either finished college. You have um, completed at least one run in the military. Um, you've already gotten your certification, but you're into your career. And the, re the reason it's called career and nesting because you're getting comfortable. This is when you buy a home. This is when you start having children. This is when sometimes you move to get a promotion or that next position in your career. This is when things are really happening and you got to have your finances in order. In this life stage as in the previous life stage, almost the same things can happen where you lose your money or you come into some money. Bankruptcy is how you lose all your money. That can happen during the nesting and the career stage. You can have a spouse, a parent, or even a child pass and you come into an inheritance. You need to know what to do if these things happen and all of a sudden you are in a position where you have monies that just come in a lump sum. As I always say, save, get an, an investment professional to help direct you on what to do to invest your money for your future or buy property, an initial investment that will always pay off. Property minus the 2008 crash, usually you just really can't go wrong with property. I would say something that I didn't know. Um, I would I would live somewhere between my, between 23 and 39. I would actually move to a, a state like California, live in an apartment maybe, or if I bought a house, buy a house. And then when I retired, I moved to a more a warmer state near California, like Arizona or Dallas, where properties are substantially cheaper than they are in California. And when you sell your house in California, you can probably buy the same house or a bigger house in one of those neighboring states. Cash from the equity you've built up in California. And on top of that, the pay and the wages are higher in California. So your retirement monies will be more. I mean, I'm just saying, if you're 23 or 39 and you are looking further ahead past 50 um, when you plan to retire. If I could do it again, that's exactly what I would have did. Okay, some of the other events during this stage, we talked about kids a little. Marriage. Marriage, I'm sorry, we should have did marriage before the kids. But, you have marriage, you have at least, you know, one kid, sometimes two, sometimes three, sometimes more. Either way it goes, this is also during the time period you're planning for your children's education. So you get your first job out of college, 23. You met the love of your life. You get married, of course the weddings, you know, you millennials, you don't play around. You're not going to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars on weddings. And that's a good thing. 
you have your wedding you get your wedding gifts hopefully some cash and hopefully you know some furniture for your new place because this is also during the time when you buy your first home or even an investment property while you're having children you have to plan for their education so you got the same income and it's being pulled in a lot of different directions taking care of yourself taking care of the kid and putting money away for the child's education so you have to be really smart with your money during these times save and invest wisely no get rich quick schemes get a professional advisor and then research yourself so you're putting your monies in the right stocks or the right investment um, portfolio options this is critical time times i think this won't be the time of your life where you'll make your most money but this is the time of your life where you can start investing early and it can grow for you more because you're so young. You don't want to start investing. I mean, you can start investing, of course, at 50. But the sooner you get started, the sooner you get those insurance policies, the sooner you can start gaining equity. You can start gaining interest rate. Time. You have more time that you will never, ever have again. This is the time when you start planning for retirement nobody talks about it or even think about it between the ages of 23 you know at 23 you're thinking about retirement it's just beginning you just get over the fact you're not going to go to every single happy hour start investing get that port that portfolio in place double invest in your 401k this is the beginning of where you can really start having your money make money if you don't listen to anything else at 23, start investing your money if you have not invested it already. This is the time to set your money in a money market account and start letting it gain interest. So hopefully by the time you are ready to retire, you have enough money where you can just live off the interest. This is the time, if nothing more than $100 a month. Put it into a CD. Put it into a money market. Money markets are liquid and fluid. So you can always take it out, but we don't want to. We want to just save. And if there's any way you can come up with a second income, a temporary second job, and take all of that money and put it into your investment portfolio, you, you have the time and you have the energy. This is the time to do it. Invest, 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 save, save, save. And if you're smart enough to get you a property, you get it and you hold it. Property values traditionally increase. If you look at, look at the portfolio of some of the richest people in the world, one of their main means of becoming rich is owning property, commercial and residential. This is the time. Get it and hold. If you have any questions, please put them in the comment section. If you learn anything from this, from this video, please comment. Don't forget to subscribe. And as like I always say, tell a friend, forward this video to someone else that you can help. We all want to be wealthy. We all want to be independent. We all want to not have to always or worry about where our next monies or income are coming from. Like, subscribe, and share. Thank you so much for coming to my channel. Cindy says, invest, invest, save, invest, and save again. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and comment. CD says.